Hello guys, this is Matrix Ray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p versus native PS2. I will also be doing some frame rate testing and show you guys the best settings for TAC and the Guardians of Gross. We are using large frame buffer, a custom resolution of 2560x1440p native, 16x the anisotrophic filtering, which doesn't seem to work on OpenGL unfortunately. MIP mapping automatic, partial OpenGL recommended, and we are using special texture from half pixel offset. Now you have to have this one on or special texture aggressive, dash aggressive. Either these two work. Unfortunately normal vertex doesn't seem to fix it. Now the problem is is there is a balloon problem where there's a strange like blurry bright light uh, all over smudged all over your screen. It's really strange. It's a quick fix just by having one of these two on. And unfortunately MSAA does not work with OpenGL. With Direct 3D Rec, uh, with Direct 3D 11, it does cost 1.9 to 2 gigabytes of video RAM. If you have MSAA at 16 times on with 1440p on Direct uh, 3D 11, but OpenGL, it's only one gigabyte of video RAM without MSAA. We are using uh, accurate date as well, and blending unit accuracy, basic recommended, low NPC, and we are using. Uh, texture filtering of display and FXAA shader. Now the reason why I'm using OpenGL hardware is because this game has some shadow problems. That's the whole reason why I'm using it. Otherwise it'd be on Direct3D11 for uh, extra speed. Now I also want to note that Direct3D11 has a lot faster uh, performance than OpenGL. You can get slow down on OpenGL. So um, flick over to Direct3D11 if you don't care about shadow problems. But for video purposes I'm going to show you guys how it looks. Um, when it's all you know dialed up to the accurate uh, date. So I am using Bilinear Fast as well. The 3D environments do remain blocky and also the 2D sprite HUDs do remain blocky as well so you have to have Bilinear Fast. Now mostly the outlines of the 3D environments do remain very pixelated and sharp. Uh, it's very strange even at 1440p, it's hard to explain but Bilinear Fast is the right answer. Now I am using MTVU, something I would recommend using if you're using OpenGL, but if you're using Direct3D11, it's probably not really recommended, but have it on if you have more than three cores. I have six cores, so I am fine. Let's check out this game. Now this game runs at native, um, if the PS2 resolutions, dimensions are at 640 by 448, that's the native PS2. Now. This is software mode. Unfortunately, some games do not like software mode. So, uh, as you see, if you look in the top left corner of the screen, I am dropping frames. Now, the game does run at 30 frames per second, but if you see like the 46 value right there, it means that I'm losing speed. So, as you see, the game speeds are 78% right now, 80%. So, um, the performance on uh, software mode don't really work too terribly well. But if you look at native uh, 1440p, as you see, the shadow is fixed. The native resolution, 1440p in this case, looks beautiful. It looks super clear and it runs at full speed as well. Now, I have encountered some slowdown at 30 frames per second um, in some parts, but also most of the time it's locked. So that's good, but Direct 3D11 is pretty much permanently locked. Uh, it was pretty much locked at uh, Direct. Um, OpenGL as well, so that's really good news. Now, without the hacks, this game is a bit of a mess, but with the hacks on, the game looks and runs beautifully. Let's have a look at native PS2 again. So this is native PS2, this is native 1440p. Now as you see, if I go back to native PS2 again, all of the grass has a lot of shimmering, so the lack of pixel density makes the grass very hard to uh, see the details of and there's a lot of flickering on screen unfortunately and same with that bridge as well the texture filtering on the PS2 so software mode is around bilinear slash trilinear I'm not too terribly sure it's hard to tell with this um, uh, this texture I'm looking at on the ground so you see this texture right here if I stand over here you can see the shimmering now uh, if you view it oblique angles but if I look at native um, what do you call it, native 1440p. Surprisingly, the texture filtering does look good, even though 16 times an isotropic filtering doesn't even work. I can't really tell on this angle, it's too, it's too narrow 
to uh, view these angles at to tell which uh oh yeah you can see the shimmering from back here actually now so come to think of it yeah you can see that the 16 times anisotropic filtering does not work around over here where the curse is circling around otherwise the game looks beautiful at 1440p runs really really nice as i've already mentioned and yes it is just a very great game to play at. Now, also the HUDs, as I was about to mention, these HUDs did not age well at 1440p. If you look at the um, the button HUDs right here, you can see that um, they are remaining soft and blocky. We filtered it so it doesn't look too blocky, but you can still see its age. But if you go to native PS2, the HUDs um, remain even more softer than native 1440p because we can upscale it a little bit to make it look a little bit clearer but otherwise you can still show it's still see its age even at the native ps2 and here's another look at native 1440p um outdated huds but do hold up quite well for a ps2 game at 1440p i'll give it credit for that but that's about it yeah thank you guys for watching